I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. We're going to Mumbo's Mountain. You can't stop me. You can't. You can sit there and you can try, but you just can't do it. Yo, there are three new moves to learn in this world. There's a dude here. He's, he's, we're having our epic battle right now, all right? Enemies typically drop a honeycomb to heal you. Mmm, sticky, tasty honey energy. That's a Jinjo. Hooray. That was cool. There's five Jinjos in the level. That's what he's trying to say. Also, I got a Mumbo token. We're gonna have to wait for Jinjo to shut up to learn what that is. Or we won't. I, I guess there's too many introductory texts involved. By the way, if you leave the honeycombs around, they will just stay there. Uh, I think there's a limit, but I don't know what the limit is. So, you know. Ah, yes, the music notes. An ever infamous thing in this particular video game. Um, one reason to play the, the Xbox version of this game is that the game will save all of the notes you collect throughout your many adventures. Um, so if I collect these notes and leave the level by means of death or otherwise leaving the level, uh, I will keep them forever. Uh, in this particular version of the game, they all respawn, and if I want to actually get all the notes, I have to get them all in one run. This is kind of a divisive thing for people. I've personally never really had that much of a problem with it. It just involves a little bit of strategy, yo. Sometimes. Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! Too bad! If you had said nothing, I would have ignored you. <laughs> anyway... Yo! This is Conga's tree. Conga's a dude. He throws oranges. Ow. You gotta watch out, because he throws oranges and they hurt. I will touch your blocks all I want. Guy. Uh, see? Look at me touching all the blocks. You can't stop me, Conga. Grr. Yeah, it's your gold, but it's mine now, so go away. Yo, there's ten in each world. We'll help you progress! Hooray! Get used to this dance, it's gonna happen a lot. Kazooie is gonna get heartburn from eating tons of solid gold. When you're ready to leave the world, you can return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Even though there's literally no reason to do that at present, but I went up and I got myself an orange. I love oranges, they are delicious. Yum, oranges are nice. Thanks for the update. I'm gonna throw it at this monkey though. Here you go. Ah, chimpy like Conga's orange. That's cool. You helped me by making a log grow out of the ground. Don't ask me how that works, because I don't know. So this game, early game really likes to just kind of hand out jiggies. <laughs> um, they just kind of are here in places. Hmm. We're the eggs. Kazooie can learn to use his ammo. That's fun. How do I do it? I talk to the mole, apparently. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. It's not really that ancient. It's just... It, it, it should just be instinct, really. I'm just putting it out there. Don't you just press your Z button in the top C? That sounds cool. Also, you can press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them from behind. Sheesh! Sounds painful! Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yo, you can carry a hundred eggs. Yeah, control stick to aim while you're crouching. Eggs sighting, huh? I said, eggs sighting, huh? Well, if you're not gonna react to my pun, then, uh, go away. <laughs> Stupid. So we got our egg shooting move, that's a thing. Me safe here, says you. I'm gonna shoot an egg at you. And he's gonna throw an orange at me, because he's rude. He's a rude dude! This is the part where I gotta shoot eggs at a gorilla, because... You're, you're, you're being rude and throwing multiple oranges. Please stop. 
Ugh, bear beat Kunga. Me give prize to bear! See, I always knew bears were better than gorillas. It's a proven science fact. The camera is- the camera doesn't know what it wants to do here, turns out. It just, it just does whatever it wants, and Kanga's mad, so he's gonna keep throwing oranges at me. He, he's rude like that. There's a bunch of slippy, slidey slopes over here. Things a bit slippy, huh? No, that's a different video game, Bottles. Pay attention! That's the one with the annoying frog that won't shut up. Gosh, you stupid mole. I should probably freaking hurry myself up and go over to this place, because we all know it's over here, it's important. It, me just missing this note callously. Yeah, uh, it's the thing that I do. There's some extra eggs here, just a jiggy hanging out, and ruins over here. I love the ruins, they're my favorite. Somewhere around here is another one of these. You might want to grab that. Mumbo's token! For Mumbo Magic! The camera does not know what it wants to do here. Hmm. The Talon Trot will be the move you use most throughout the entire game. Also, it goes up steep slopes or whatever, but who cares? Now you hold Z and then you press left C. Continue to hold Z. That's it. You're doing this for the rest of the game. Have fun! Go practice. Yeah, this is the go fast move. So, naturally, you will be using it a lot. Just, you know, it's just a thing that happens. I mean, if you want to have more precision movement so you don't miss all these stupid notes, might be worth your while to just regular walk. But, uh, I don't got time for that. But yeah, these steep slopes, not a problem. When we got the trots, we got the talons, we got the trots, we got everything that we need in life. Uh, so, yeah, yippee, you collected enough notes to break the first note door spell. Bottles, I have literally no clue what you're talking about. And it's very possible that anyone playing this game would have no clue what Bottles is talking about. By virtue of the fact that you could not possibly have a clue what he's talking about unless you do things in a very weird order. <laughs> so, you know... It's one of those things. We're around the ant hill. I think they're supposed to be termites, but heck with that nonsense. Heck with it indeed. Uh, there should be an entrance over here, though. Yo, entrance! Welcome to the termite hole! Ugly! Bears not allowed! There's a mumbo token in here, and some slopes are still too slippy, even for Kazooie. Truly tragic. I think this slope is actually not too steep, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. There's a bunch of notes on these huts. Check them out. Grab them if you want. That guy has a jigsaw in his face. But, uh, we don't talk about that guy. Sup, bottles? Mm, I call this the Beak Buster. Yo, you can jump in the air and press Z to do a ground pound. That's what this is. Gulp? I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Yeah, well, get used to it. Shut up. Deal with it, you stupid bird. You're gonna be abused in this video game and the next and many more. Just get used to it. <laughs> This is how this works. Don't worry, Banjo will get his fair share of, of abuse as well. Uh, the trick here is you can destroy local property by ground pounding it. Uh, these houses are not very structurally sound, it turns out. So, uh, that one was just filled with eggs. No one knows why, but it, it happens. It's just a thing that happens. This is, this is a Mr. Totem Man. Wee Juju! I'm gonna feed you nice blue stones. They're, all, they're called eggs, though. It's just, it's just a thing that they're called. Don't shoot the last one, actually. Because uh, you'll miss out on this honeycomb. Each level now has two of these. Uh, instead of six that were in uh, Spiral Mountain. So, uh, keep an eye out. They tend to be more hidden than uh, the rest of the things, actually. So... Kind of a thing. Oh, that Jinjo is living there. Curses! Yeah! 
Yeah, when you get all five, you get a jigsaw from the last one. So, uh, that's important to know. In this day and age, that house had a statue of myself in it. It was probably my house. Except I already have a house, so... That's just confusing, honestly. It's just the most confusion you could possibly have in a Sunday morning. There's probably another Mumbo token somewhere, because I think I need five? I'm trying to remember where the last one is. Because I do have four, right? I think I have four. I, I, I think I have four. This last one is a little tricky to get. Not like super tricky to get, but it's a little tricky to get. Just a little bit. Where's a mumbo token I'm missing? It wouldn't happen to just be in here, would it? Uh, there's music notes in here. Some of these houses have stuff in them. Uh, mumbo just kind of exists in various worlds. This one just seems to have eggs. That's fine. It's fine. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you, actually. Hello, Mumbo! Best shaman in all game! Only shaman, really, so... Not much competition. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by a witch! Mumbo, help you! Banjo not got enough tokens. Yeah, I know, I need I need five. It's a, it's a thing I need. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interact with you yet! It's not a thing I meant to do. Ooh, it's down on this hill. It's about the only place I can think of where it would be. Looking for mumbo tokens. Where could they be? I'm not really sure where the last one is. So we're gonna look around. It's been a while since I have played this video game. In case you wanted to know. Truth be told, I'm a little surprised I actually remembered to get the one in the the, uh, the termite hill, because that one's pretty easy to forget. Did I... You know what? It occurs to me. I might have missed something over here. Maybe. I mean, I know I missed something over here, because I, I kind of left for a reason. There's like this little platforming thing over here. Ah, there is one over here. Okay. I forgot that there was one here, but it's fine. I had to come back anyway. There's this cool little switch here. I needed the ground pound to hit it, so... That creates a jigsaw back in Gruntilda's lair, but how do we get up there? Surely that's too steep. That's too steep for a guy like me. Too steep indeed. Just the most steep you can possibly have in, in, your, in your birthday. No one knows why there's a steep in your birthday, but uh, I don't know, it just seemed like the thing to do, if you ask me. Alright, guy, I got all the stuff. Yes, I have plenty tokens. Press B. Alright, I'll, I'll do that. Oh no, I'm a termite. But with a backpack... Yo, you can change back if you want. Termite bit small. Mumbo practice. He gonna do better next time, probably. So when you're transformed, uh, you can't really do a whole lot, turns out. Uh, Termite has the advantage of uh, being able to go on steep slopes without worry. Yes, I'm ignoring that jigsaw piece. Yes, I'm doing that. You can't stop me, all right? I'm 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 a master of my own destiny. All right, I'm just putting this out there. All right, I'm trying to trying to get all these notes here because it's important that I get all these notes. All right, so Termite can walk on these kinds of slopes and find yourself this thing. Uh, it's generally a little easier to get that with the Termite. You, you could slide down to it as Banjo and Kazooie, but I didn't. Yeah, because I think those rock slopes are too steep, even for Talon Trot. Um... Hey, where did you get those shorts? I, I... Do I have shorts? I guess they're... They're there? They're really hard to see, though. Um, but, you know, it's, that's obviously how a termite wears pants. We have confirmed it here, folks. This is how a termite wears pants. Alright. Get ourselves some notes. 
Yo, I got all 100 notes. I'm the best. I also gain an extra life for doing that, apparently. I wasn't aware that that was a thing, but it's fine. Give me that cool backpack or else. Man, you guys are mean. I am exactly you, but smaller. Why are you so mean? I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, at the top of the termite hill, we can find ourselves another jigsaw. Also, while you're, you're transformed, you don't take fall damage, so, you know. A thing that I haven't really even demonstrated yet. Uh, so, real quick, the solution, as it turns out, uh, to ignoring this jigsaw piece for a moment is the jigsaw that's outside the world. Uh, I need to go out here while transformed, because that's a thing I can do. Grunty's magic stops you from taking notes off of the world, but the hundred you just collected count as your best note score. Yo! Yeah, this is a thing that's exclusive to the N64 version, because later versions you just save all your notes. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah, I needed to be a termite to make that. Uh, you can't stay transformed forever, however. Because uh, your magic will get weak here. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Oops, a daisy, magic all gone. What an unfortunate happenstance. But you know what? It's actually somewhat advantageous. I gotta go back and get a jigsaw I've blatantly ignored several times. It's fine. I, I have a system, all right? I wanted to come back in anyway, because, you see, now we can go over here and make note of all the notes respawn. All the Jinjos respawn. Uh, the Mumbo Tokens did not. Neither did any of the Jigsaws, but this one's still here, and I'm gonna get it. I got my silver Jigsaw! Do a special little dance when you get all of the Jigsaws in a world. You just, you don't get the dance if you're a termite. It's just, the way this level's laid out, you're so guaranteed, almost, to get that last jigsaw as a termite that you just, you just will not see that dance. And it's real unfortunate, I think. But yeah, I need a talent trot to even go up here. Like, that's why it's kind of like, you wouldn't know what this note door is because it's just up here. But you need the talent trot to go up here, which means you need to go in the world to go up here, which means you're so likely to have 50 before you even leave. Because notes are just freaking everywhere, man. It's a powerful spell. Open it, jam jars. Kazooie, you're getting ahead of yourself. So that's the next game, you, you idiot. I must collect the musical notes. How many do we need? The number on the door, stupid. <laughs> Obviously, man, like Bottles and, and Kazooie and Banjo are just all super mean to each other. That's my headcanon. But uh, we have enough notes, we open up the door, we do ourselves a fancy dance. And next time, gonna head on higher into Gruntilda's lair, because it just seemed like the thing to do, honestly. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Truly unfortunate. Anyway, I'll see you later and goodbye.